Very few cars in 2020 have had quite as much weight of expectation as the new Defender. And yes, it's come in for a lot of stick from weird old men on the internet who like the old one. They like being battered, bruised, beaten up and deafened on every drive in their knackered old Defenders. And they don't like the fact that this professes to be, well, a car that you can actually use. So I spent the whole day with the new Defender and I'm gonna hopefully show you that it can still do well, look at it. I've driven it through a forest that was very muddy and it's still here and it still works and it looks beautiful caked in mud. But the thing is, the old Defender was never very good at, you know, 99% of being a car, the bit where you drive on the road. And this has surprised me. It's as comfortable as any other family SUV but it makes you feel like a child when you climb inside it. The simple act of opening the door, getting the grab handle and hoiking yourself into the really tall seat, you get this really cool view out through a narrow windscreen over the bonnet with all this cool tread plate on it and you feel like a child and no matter how cynical you are about the new Defender, it does make you feel pretty good about things. Anyway, I'll give you a quick tour as well. Now to make sure the Defender can be as off-roady as possible, the spare wheel still lives up here because under there it would reduce the departure angle, i.e. you would scrape it off on the first rut you came to. The boot opens, he says, like this. It's actually quite heavy because it's got the wheel on it but feels chunky, stays open. You've got a fabric parcel shelf which hooks on there and you've got a wipe clean boot. It's practical, you can sit here and look over your estate and all the pheasants that you're about to shoot. Pheasants? Peasants. No, pheasants. Hello! The Defender's quite high up. You use these really sturdy grab handles to hoik yourself in. And once you're in here, you feel like you're king of the world. Land Rover's done a really good job making the interior feel kind of rugged, but also comfortable as well. So you probably can't see, but I do a close up. All of the door cards have bolts exposed on them. And so does the center console down here. So you can kind of see how it's been put together but everything's also padded, so it's comfortable, and you've got elbow room. New entertainment system uh, is really easy to use. It's really sharp, it makes sense, it bongs a lot. You can't stop it bonging. The entertainment system is new, it's really easy to use, it's really straightforward, it's got great graphics, well done Land Rover, it's your best one yet. Buy a country mile, and it's also got some cool, he says, cameras. And we've just been doing a load of off-roading, and you can actually see the car from the outside, which is really handy going down tight little tracks where you don't really know where your front wheels are. And when you're going off big drops, that helps a lot. And it's got the magic bonnet mode, he says, which doesn't work at the moment, so the doors open, but it lets you effectively see through the bonnet what's under your front wheels, which is very clever. This is how you adjust the ride height, and then you can adjust the driving modes through this. Ooh. on the bottom there with this multifunction knob 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 you can get three different options for the front seats of the defender you can have this center console which is what you'd probably get normally uh, you can get rid of this so you can step through and you can get a third option which adds a little jump seat here so you can have three people in the front and that's when you'll need to use this which is a camera system. Basically, there's a camera on the back and because you can't see much out the back because there's a spare wheel there, this will let you see out for a camera. I'm not a huge fan because it takes your eyes a second to focus on a screen rather than just using the mirror. So I'd rather use the mirror, but this is handy. Oh, also this is a structural aluminum beam across the front of the car. And if my arm was longer, I could fit it through there. Um, so yeah, that's all exposed. It feels like no other kind of SUV thing that you're gonna get. It's a cool thing. There's USB sockets everywhere. There's a USB-C, a normal USB, 12 volt cigarette lighter, and there's another USB lead, or USB charger rather, up there. So it's very practical, like for actual family use. And the rear seats are huge as well. Sorry, they're probably a bit dark. How can you tell it's a proper Defender? Well, it's got hay in it. it. Comes with hay, that's the optional hay package, I think. 
for, you know, your cows and horses. Whew. It is warm outside. The first impression you immediately get when you get into the new Defender is how high up it is. You've got these sturdy grab handles at the side and you kind of want to use them to get in. But once you're in, you feel like you're in a Tonka toy. You get this huge view over the bonnet and you can see the wings and the tread plates. Huge door mirrors, actually got elbow room for the first time ever in a Defender. Yeah, no matter how cynical you are about this car, I think as soon as you get into it, that all melts away and you just turn into a child. Should we drive? Oh yes, I've just driven over a Verge, but it doesn't matter because I'm in a Defender. I actually really like the way the gear knob feels. It's like a pistol or something or a F16's joystick. You pull it back and it clunks you into gear and it's quite satisfying. The immediate thing that strikes you as soon as you're up to speed is how comfortable it is. It's a Defender that's got suspension that works. It's great. It's super pillowy. It's very soft, but not unpleasantly so. Turning into a corner at 60 miles an hour, it turns in. The steering is, you know, it's very light and you don't get much feel for it, but it does the job. It's accurate. Yeah, this instantly strikes you as a much 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 more modern grown-up and comfortable car which you know we should expect frankly given that it's not based on something from world war ii the defender i'm driving has the ingenium two liter diesel engine with 240 horsepower which i think is going to be the one that most people buy it's going to be the default engine for the defender and yeah it's gets you up to 60 miles an hour really quite quickly it's a bit gravelly sounding, it, it growls at you and sounds a bit utilitarian, but you kind of don't mind because it's that sort of car. I just love the view out. Ooh. It's beeping at me to tell me that lorry's going to kill me. Yeah, the gearbox is silky smooth as well, so yeah, I think. This would be a good urban vehicle as well. Now How nerdy. Oh, we can't turn left. Because there's a lot of polices. A lot of polices. I don't know what's happened here, but there's all of the police and a fire engine. I think there's been a big accident. There are five police cars, an ambulance and a fire engine. Don't think we'll be going down there. Yes, you immediately sense that Land Rover has taken the Defender in a whole new, more friendly direction, which is good, and we'll find out later if it can still do the off-road, farmery, sheep in the back, up a hill, slathered in goop stuff, which, you know, the old men of the internet desperately want it to be bad at. Don't think it is. Yeah, it's a family car now. It's comfortable. It's got loads of room in here. I feel like I'm in a, in a cave. Initially, it feels quite wide when you get in here, but you quickly realize that you've got loads of room either side of you in your lane. It's just, it's just tall and the big door mirrors give you the impression of width. But it's actually really easy to place on the road. You look out over a big flat bonnet with the two wings, with the tread plate metal, I think it's actually rubber, pressed onto them, which is a really nice view to have. You feel for all the world like you're in a Defender. They've taken all the right styling cues of the original Defender and whacked them on this. But my spine is not broken. I'm not being deafened. I could accelerate. I can go around corners. Speaking of which, it corners. I've been driving it for about 50 miles so far and you can hoof it down a B road. The tires are the weak link. They are it's on some kind of Wrangler off-roady tires and they give up the ghost earlier than the chassis wants to but you're not buying a defender to hoon it at 10 tenths on the road are you why are you buying a defender well you're either buying it because you like the old one and you love the idea of it or you're buying it because it looks fun and it makes you feel like you're on an adventure every time you get into it it feels like it would be an amazing family fun bus your kids will love it because it looks really cool and boxy you'll like it because it's quiet refined 
and feels like a modern car and it's got all the right tech, the automatic gearbox, loads of room in this five door 110 model. I'm quite taken by it, if you couldn't guess. Right, yeah, downsides, I've talked about the engine noise. I've only been getting 31 MPG, but you know, it's a big heavy car and I've not been driving it particularly gently, so I'm sure that will creep up towards 35 and 40. Uh, my knee, actually, no, there is a downside. My knee keeps bashing into the center console next to the engine start button, uh, but only when I've been driving very quickly around corners. So, yeah, and I can always move my knee. It's not banging into it all the time. Yeah, first impressions, driving impressions of the new Defender are that it's pretty good. They have not messed this up. I'll be excited to see how well it copes with all the off-roady stuff. Um, but it's not been compromised by being made to look defendery. It makes you feel special, which is what you want from a car, really, isn't it? To feel like you're in something a bit out of the ordinary. And I've just driven in a convoy of five of these through the Cotswolds, and we were driving along Broadway High Street, um, and everyone turned and looked at us. And they weren't thinking, oh, there's a bunch of wankers in sports cars. They were thinking, cool, they must be having fun. That's the new Defender. They're probably off to, I don't know, drive over some mud, run over some accidental ferrets. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. See you in a bit when I'll be driving this off-road, trying not to crash it. Off-roading. That's off-road. forest we've just done some uh, off-roading with the new defender and um don't think i've broken it still seems to be going uh it's worth noting these cars are on the mid-spec tire that you can get from land rover so you get a really off-roady one which is not great on the road you get a perfectly on-road one which is not great off-road and this is the goldilocks one in the middle and to be honest i didn't know that driving on the road this morning couldn't tell the tires weren't noisy had plenty of grip for driving on the road and uh, just been through a lot of mud and water. So yeah, I mean, they weren't gonna make a Defender that couldn't go off road, were they? No. Right, I'm doing my outro on my phone because my microphone has just died, but I'll try and keep it brief. Is the Defender worthy of the name Defender? Well, yeah. All you old people, you know, with your crusty old Defenders, you can keep them because this is far more comfortable, far more efficient and far more What's the word? Far more flexible. You can use it as a family SUV. It's huge inside. It's got loads of space. It's really comfortable. And you can do 85, 95 on the motorway. And even though it's got the looks of a brick, it isn't noisy. You don't get loads of wind noise. Uh, downsides, it's not massively efficient. You'll get 30 MPG. And this optional box thing does block the view out of the right-hand door mirror. But other than that, Apart from slightly roly-poly handling but it's not a sports car it's a really really good thing so yeah new defender gets a thumb up thank you for watching like and subscribe sorry it's been a bit of a rushed video um i've been doing it all on my own very very quickly so thank you for watching goodbye